I wanted to do a little fireside chat. So I've got my candle here. <laughs> and I just want to do a little fireside chat with you. Do you like my sweater? It's my Christmas. <laughs> it's my holiday sweater. I just went to um, Santa Con. Uh, this weekend in San Francisco, which is so fun because last year they didn't do it. Uh, but it is like where the whole city, you know, kind of becomes a party. Everybody dresses up like Santa and other fun holiday costumes. So it's really great to see the city is back to where it was pre pandemic. And as far as socializing and events and uh, activities. With that being said, I do want to make sure to let you know um, that I'm going to be moving. <laughs> I'm moving to Miami. So I've had a lot of progress. I was feeling very heavy this month and I've been resting. It's funny because I went to a class, a power Baptiste class, a few days ago. I knew I was supposed to be resting, but I felt like I needed the infrared. You know, I needed that heat, which is why I posted about um, the different like electromagnetic um, effects. And so infrared is one of the ways that you can um, heal your body. But anyways, I took this class and it's been three days. I am still sore. My body is still so sore and I've been just like realizing I, this is, you know, spirit telling me rest. So I'm taking it easy. I'm in bed. I've got my candle, I've got my books and, um, <laughs> I want to share about what's really going on with me. And also because this is such an important time, it's the 1212 portal, December 12th. This portal is going to be accessing a feeling of lightness, a positive boost of energy. So if you have been feeling heaviness, get ready because you're going to feel so much better now. <laughs> when it comes to self-love, what my journey has looked like has been a lot of trauma healing and specifically my inner child. There are also the archetypes of the divine feminine that, that we go through as we go through initiations and I plan to make a video on this. Uh, the more that I learn uh, in depthly through, you know, the different aspects of these archetypes. But um, what I just really want to address here is, is the trauma from being programmed by my own mother uh, to serve the patriarchy. Now, why I have my my motto for my my brand is deprogram the patriarchy is because through my trauma healing and through my shadow work i was able to i was able to address a lot of the programs that my own mother was was teaching me you know she came from a di different generation okay our mothers came from a generation where they weren't really paid enough to afford to, you know, live on their own, right? So they had conditioned themselves to get married, um, to be able to be financially supported, and then needing, you know, to keep that marriage going, right? Which means having kids, even if they didn't want them, and etc etc serving you know their husband and then 
building resentment. Anyways, we are privileged in this generation that we do not have to, as women, we don't have to fo follow this conditioning. And, I'm, and I'll say as American women, I should really re put it in a context. As American women, we have the privilege, okay, to have financial freedom, to live on our own. We don't need to get married to move out of our parents' house, and we certainly don't need the, a man's income. So part of that healing for me was to deprogram this belief, this belief that I needed a man or a partner I needed to depend on. And um, that's a journey. That's a whole, whole nother aspect to awakening um, through through this healing realizing that this was just her program that she was teaching me because she thought this was helpful she was doing her best so please always honor your mother honor your mother because our mothers did the best they could in the conditions that they grew up in and through what they learned and what they knew best to teach us and and with their own trauma, right? <laughs> my mother never worked on healing her trauma, so it, I, it was my job and I wanted to break the cycle. So deprogramming from the patriarchy, from the belief, from the codependency, that is so huge, okay? Because when I decided that I would not wait for or expect the man that I'm with to take care of my financial needs, when I made the decision that I would make enough money for myself, everything shifted. My focus shifted, my energy shifted, my confidence shifted. I felt freedom. I didn't feel obligated, you know? I didn't feel obligated to him because I didn't need his money, all right? I make my own money and it feels great. It feels free, freeing, and not just money, but also creating the life that I want for myself, not just a married life and this whole idea of needing to have the nice home, having everything look good, making sure... You know, I've got my my delicious meals ready for him, for us. You know, a lot of that has really shifted in, in my marriage. Um, we are going to be separating, so that's why I'm moving to Miami. And when I made this decision, I felt a huge, whew, I felt a huge cord getting burned, okay? There was some burning of chords happening and I, I've been able to release so this is going to help me serve the collective of D divine feminine of, of women out there um, because the, the future is female all right women are meant to be the leaders um, when women lead there will not be any wars there won't be competition um, there won't be greed okay we're gonna work together we're returning back to the mother energy this is such a beautiful time to be awake and I'm just sending so much love to you all thank you for supporting me uh, for subscribing to my YouTube channel 
The link is in my bio. And for following me on Instagram at glowwarrior444. Have a beautiful 1212 portal, my loves, from my heart to yours. <laughs>